Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and I'm going to share with you my collection of traditional rope whips from Europe. See if I can remember what countries I have represented here. Uh, Italy, Italy, Switzerland, uh, let's see, this big guy here, also Switzerland, Germany, Germany, and let's see, oh, and then one's from Austria, where'd the Austrian one go? And this one's from Austria, there, I got them all, hard to keep track of all these whips, and uh, it's an interesting collection to put together, these are all types of whips that you don't see a whole lot of uh, outside of where they're traditionally cracked in those countries, probably partly because of a language barrier, uh, partly because, um, these uh, aren't made and sold to tourists. So uh, sit back, if you like uh, whips from around the world, you're gonna enjoy this video. I'll start with the first traditional rope that I got from Europe. This is a Gosel that's cracked with two hands and it comes from Bavaria. I uh, had the help of Nico Fisher to get this whip because there's only like one old guy that makes them. You can't just go on Amazon and buy one. So it's cracked with two hands, uh, the thong again, is a twisted rope, and it's uh, coated with something, uh, kind of like tar, some kind of grease. And as you can see, it's joined at a right angle, and it's got a swivel to it. So about the only cracks you can do with this one are is a slow figure eight overhead. That's a good loud one. Let's see, so that's from Germany. Other whips from Germany include... Uh, Let's see, <clears throat> this one here, this is a Carbaccia from the Lake Constance area. I had the help of uh, my friend Gerhard over in Germany to get this whip. It's made out of, uh, get braided rope by, let's see, a guy named, let's see, Bernard Muffler, I think if I got that right. And uh, they crack these in competitions, but more importantly, as part of their sort of pre-Lenten festivities in uh, parades. So again, the whip like this, just a slow figure eights overhead. And you can see that the cracker is just a piece of ribbon, but that doesn't stop the whip from making noise. And also, interestingly enough, with these whips, uh, they're actually sold by weight. Uh, I got four of them from Gerhardt, and he had a little post-it note on each one letting me know how many grams of weight were in each whip. And then this one here is from Austria. Uh, this I got in a trade with a guy named Longe Lochner. And uh, this is, I featured this in one of my earlier videos. So it's from Austria and it's basically like a carbaccia, but the idea is the maker uh, wanted to improve the carbaccia. So instead of the two piece whip, as you see there, uh, he made it basically into a one piece bull whip. Um, pretty heavy, pretty imposing. Yeah, you go deaf cracking that one a lot. So that's from Austria. Now there's a few from Switzerland of different types. So uh, this one is made uh, by a guy uh, who's, uh, I guess, passed away, named, let's see if I get this right, Robbie uh, Varen, Warren. And so it's made out of Italian flax, and this is also a Gosel type whip. You can see it's two-handed, and it has a, sort of a, a swiveling right angle joint, as you can see. And this one's pretty loud as well. And here's a couple more from Switzerland. So these are called Fermans Geisels, or a Fermans Geisel, it means coachman's whip. And interestingly enough, um, so when I was uh, writing back and forth with a guy that made these, a nice gentleman named Werner Fessler, uh, Werner and his dad had been manufacturing these whips for a long time. Uh, he was writing to me using a translator because he speaks Swiss German. And he would write the word Geisel, but translated in the translator, it says hostage. So I got a few emails that said, uh, I'm busy working on your hostages and your hostages will soon be in the mail. That sounds great. So these are two different weights. I got a heavy one and a light one. I'll go ahead and uh, crack them both. Just doing the slow figure eight. Now we'll do the other one. I don't know how that sounds through the camera or through your speakers, but of all these whips here, these are the ones that make my ears ring the most. And um, a little bit more about the design. These are probably the most sophisticated, 
of the whips that I have in my sort of European traditional rope whip collection. So the handle is actually made from twisted hackberry. I think I mistakenly said something like willow or something in a communication with them and that was a taboo because I guess I don't like using willow. So it's twisted hackberry. Then it has a little fur decoration and a sewn leather cover over the whip. And then the thong is made out of a twisted rope. And the so sophisticated cracks they do with this uh, include a crack called the Crutchley strike, which means little cross crack, or they also call it the sort of lying eight, I think. And the idea is it's kind of an upside down volley. Let's see if I can do it. Now, look at that from the front. The idea with that crack is you would do it both directions, basically doing what I'd call a crucially strike, then the volley, and then switch hands and do it both directions in the other hand. But these whips are a little bit challenging if you're not used to them. So I can't quite do the crucially strike in the other hand. So those are my whips from Switzerland. And finally, whips from Italy. Now these two small guys here I don't think are used in like sort of the German speaking or traditionally German speaking parts of Europe. Uh, these are from Italy and I got these a long time ago. If you, if any of you have ever seen videos of people in Italy cracking whips with long handles like these to music, well, that's what these are. And they're a little challenging to crack, especially after you've been cracking those really big whips. But they would crack them in patterns like that, either a Queensland crossover or a breakaway, I think, or a slow figure eight. And then it would all be done to music. And you can see these also have long twisted handles and uh, just a simple rubber uh, covering on the handle there and no sewn leather cover. Also interesting with these whips is uh, like some of the other ones I've had out here, they have a swiveling connection at a right angle on the whip. And then last but not least, here is uh, probably one of the most recent whips that I got. I actually got this one uh, from Italy uh, right before the, um, sort of the pandemic set in. I wasn't even sure if I would get this out of northern Italy uh, in a timely fashion. This was made by Gilbert Stillebrecher. And with a name like that, you think he's not Italian. But in the northern part of Italy, they have strong Germanic roots up there. And I saw a whip like this when I went to the World Championship for Gosel and Carbaccia Kraken in Fullendorf um, in January and early February of 2020. Uh, I'm glad I got a trip in there before the pandemic set in. And I saw one of these and I thought it looked so cool and so medieval. It's got, it's got this long, funky looking handle. Looks like it's wrapped in some kind of twine, uh, sort of leather wrapped grip. And then the thong um, is uh, carefully tapered and twisted out of a lot of thread and then you can see it's coated like a pine pitch or tar and then he's got a twist all the way down and he's got a very long poly cracker with a huge tassel on the end and again with this one they just do a slow figure eight and i got to try one out in full endorf and uh, the guys were telling me uh, it's 50 percent strength and 50 percent technique you go out and crack it and I, I think i can do a slow figure eight so i cracked it and they didn't seem impressed so I guess I didn't have, maybe I was only at like 41% technique and I don't know, 39% strength. Who knows? But here, we'll give it a shot. And um, I guess to my ears, this one hurts my ears like the least of a lot of the whips, but the camera seems to pick it up the best. Well, that's my collection of rope whips, traditional to Europe, that not a lot of people see uh, anywhere else. Uh, my name is Adam Winrich. Thanks for watching.